Another transition style I've been working on is these sort of like fold out or origami transition style, I guess you could call this. And it's a little bit time consuming and a little bit tedious to create, but I think it can look cool in a, in depending on your projects, right? So let me show you the technique behind these. I'm gonna copy these again and get rid of that. And we're gonna add this Fusion Cross Dissolve. Make sure it's one second long. And then I'm gonna go inside it into Infusion. We're gonna get rid of this Cross Dissolve and connect these with a Merge node. I'm going to show you the first couple ones and then actually I'm going to make this in a simpler way only using four squares because otherwise it was going to take way too long. So the way that this technique works is first you're going to have to create an instance for the amount of squares or masks that you want to use. So I'm going to use four in this case. So I'm going to create three more instances and I'm going to connect these to our media in elements right here. Now, each of these media ends will have its own mask. So I'm gonna add a rectangle in this case. And we're gonna use four, so it's gonna be the default. And I'm gonna position these at 0.25 and 0.35. So one in each corner, basically. I'm just gonna copy this rectangle. Set the X to 0.75 in this one. And on this one, I'm gonna set the Y at 0.25. And on this one, I'm gonna set these at 0.75 and 0.25. There it goes. Now the whole mask is uh, created basically. And that's how you know the whole thing has been covered. Okay. Now we're going to go to the first one and we're going to add a DVE node. And with a rectangle selected, we're going to go and change the pivot point of our DVE node to be, let's say, 0.25 and then 1. Now this pivot point will affect how this looks actually. So if you move this around, it will have a different angle. So you can play around with and experiment with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna animate the X value and you can already see these working right there. So at frame zero, this is gonna be 90 and I'm gonna create a key from right here. Then I'm gonna go to, let's say frame five and I'm gonna bring these to zero. Since we're using a similar animation on all of them, I'm just going to copy this DVE effect here. If you were to use these to create sort of like a fold out, like in the intro that you saw, you will have to use the also the Y animation values. OK, now that we are on the second mask, what we're going to have to do is move these people point to 0.75. And they are both at the same time coming right now. Also, let me just show you the people point right now. If we move these, you see how this looks. So you have to play around with however you want this to look. That's why we have them at that point right there. But what we want to do is actually delay these a little bit until the other one is a little bit closer to the final point or maybe right at the end already. So maybe at five there. And then once this one is at that point, what we want to do is have the next one that's connected to this one show up. So in this case, it's mask three. So I'm going to set the pivot point to come down here to 0.5 and then make this 0.25. That way it's right here and you can see these closer to that line. If you want to be completely accurate, hold control on the mask and then you can move the pivot point like that. And then moving, checking out the keyframes, we can see that there. Then going to the end at frame 9 in this one. That's what we're going to use for the last one. So I'm going to copy that one, that DVE node and holding shift on the spline tool, which is this one right here. I'm going to drag them to the side so that this one starts last. And I'm also going to move the pivot point of this one to 0.75. Like that. Now we have that fold-out animation. And if you want to add a little bit of an extra touch, what you can do is add a drop shadow. Now when these things are coming down, you can adjust the drop shadow intensity or strength like that so that it looks a little bit better. Now I've been working on trying to figure out which so that it looks more like an origami folding. Actually it's starting to rain, so I'm not sure if you're going to see here a lot of the rain. So luckily I'm already finished in this video. But yeah, so that is the technique basically. The more squares you have or the more masks you have, the more time it will take and the more complicated it will look. Like this one, for example, look at all these. 
it's a bunch of them but i'm thinking of creating a pack with these style of transitions as well that i might release sometime in the future so let me know if you're interested in that and i can keep working on that